Well, I had wanted to do a police show set in Los Angeles in the 60s for a while. And um, one day, the just the idea of kind of who was the seminal figure of the 60s who ruined the 60s. And it was Manson. And I went to Marty, uh, who's a friend of mine and, and was my agent once, and uh, was had now, now launched a producing business, a uh, company. And I said, brilliantly, I'm going to write a quintet of novels called Aquarius. And Marty goes, what's a quintet? <laughs> You know, it's five novels. He goes, you don't even want to read five novels. Why do you want to write five novels? I told him the idea for the story. And he said, hey, it's totally wrong. I said, why? He goes, because if you write it as a series of novels, you will not be able to hear the music. And the music is the era. And I said, oh my god, we're going to be doing a TV show. <laughs> and that was six years ago. Yeah, six years ago. Six years ago. We sold it to another network, developed it. Uh, it got dropped like a hot rock, and then sat around for four, five. four or five more years. Right. And John came to me and said, gee, maybe I'll write the quintet of novels. And I said, you know, before you do that, it's always been my favorite script. And I had been leaving Fox to set up this new company mm. with ITV, and I said, you know, let me read it again over the weekend. And it just got me reinvigorated about it. And I happened to have lunch set for that Monday with David Duchovny's manager. And I called John up and I said, you know, Duchovny would be great for this. It's like the next evolution in his career for him to do a role like this after Californication. And John says, that's the guy. Mm -hmm. And he, about 20 other people I had mentioned, he was like, no. So I gave it to his manager, and she read it and says, he, I'm going to get him to do it. And three days later, he was in the role. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He is Huge. so good when he isn't talking. I mean, when he talks, he's fantastic. But he just can convey mm -hmm. emotion, tone, and feeling with a look. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's amazing to watch. Yeah. He's incredible. He is... He's also, by the way, the nicest person I've worked with in a long time. He is the very most secure. professional, very secure. He is the leader on the set. He comes to work sometimes shooting 10 pages of dialogue, and he has got it all memorized. So the rest of the cast is like, whoa, <laughs> we better, you know. Step up. And they do. Everyone does. He sets a good tone. We read 150 actors worldwide and literally only found one. And that's the guy playing Manson. There was no second choice. We also, I think we knew from the beginning he would be a Brit who was classically trained, yeah. who you haven't seen yes. that much, you know, because if you was somebody who was well known, it just wouldn't ring right. And, you know, there's so many fantastic classically trained actors there. and we ended up with uh, Gaffin. Thank God, because there was no, I'm not kidding, there was no second choice. It was him or nothing. There's going to be a version you watch on free TV, on NBC or BBC One or Two or whatever, or, you know, all the, all the free, you know, uh, uh, broadcast. That's going to be a version. Be very good. But there's another version, the digital version. And that version, when we're shooting that, we're shooting one version, but we're cutting it two different ways. So the NBC broadcast version is safe for 10 o'clock, has no bad language and no nudity. The digital version that you will buy on some pay service the next day is longer, has scenes that were cut, has more depth of character, has nudity, and has ferociously bad language. <laughs> so that's the world we're going to be in. Yeah, the world is changing. And the people who binge watch will binge watch those, I think.
that's, that's the, le the legacy version of this show that will live forever is the digital version that is shown the next day. That's the DVD version, the download version, the Hulu version, the Amazon version, the iTunes version, the Netflix version. Completely different cut. And you can't do that at a studio, a regular no. studio. They, they would have lost their mind. They don't think like that no. at all. This was entirely our idea. Yeah. Good or bad, our idea was we shoot something that is basically rated NC-17 or R. We cut it back to PG for the networks, but we release that R version the next day. But you have to pay for it. <laughs> everyone's gonna, fine. Everyone's going to do you it. You know, with this model and what's going on with the chaos in the world, what you dream up, you can do now. Mm -hmm. You know, and some of the studios, it's like turning the Titanic around. You know, they're just not equipped to do it. But in this sort of structure, we can do what we dream. It is with. Aquarius. <laughs> yeah, we've got, we've, they've let us do things that I've never seen on network television. Never. And I think they have to, you know, to. And they know it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they're losing their audience and they're losing the claim. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Used to be that broadcast television would be what they called water cooler television. Mm -hmm. You talk about what happened on a show mm. last night, but it's no longer, it's now about the cable shows that yep. people are talking about.